Yeah, all right there guys, uh, just looking at showing you the latest version of the Millhouse builds of Open Alec for the Raspberry Pi. Uh, as you can see here in front of me, we have the Pi uh, currently hooked into an old Class 4 micro SD card on the right, and we are booting and the storage drive, we're having both on the SanDisk Extreme flash drive, uh, it's a USB 3.1 over on the left. Uh, compared with the other videos on YouTube here, this one just well, it seems to fly, uh, it doesn't really do open alec any justice, so let's get right in there and I'll show you how it runs. Alright, I'll just unplug and replug the power. And let's grab it quick time it. So as you can see here. So just over fourteen seconds from powering it on to loading up and I'm just using the XBMC official remote app for Android here just to make things a bit easier uh, but as you can see it's uh, really really fluid um, 100 frames a second average loading here uh, uh, the minute I have mine overclocked to 1.05 gigahertz which it seems to handle fairly stably on an overclock of 6 uh, I also have both the core and the SD RAM speed running at 500 megahertz, which uh, seem to be working fine for me over the time that I've been testing this. Uh, as you can see from here, we've got uh, Dev SDA 1 and 2 is both flash and storage, which is the SanDisk USB 3 drive, and we also have four NFS mounts which run on my main computer uh, that contain all the videos that we'll be accessing here. Um, Let's just go and disable. Oh, that's alright, passive is already disabled anyway, so, so you can see it decoding some proper DTS files because it's quite capable of doing this now. Uh, so let's whack up in a test video. Um, we will just go with a THX one up and out. Uh, I don't know if you can make it out up there. We've got audio DTS HD Master Audio uh, running at uh, about 10 megabits audio stream, and the video stream uh, is a H.264 high running about 35 megabits. So yeah, we're looking at about 45, 50 megabits video streams here, which it seems to be handling with plenty of these. This is a full 1080p video file. Um, as far as actual video rips are concerned, it also plays through them absolutely brilliantly. Uh, let's just run to a 1080p one, there, that'll do. But as you can see, no problems at all playing. 